to home how to homeschool on a budget. Wow, can I help you with that one? When we started homeschooling 20 years ago, all five kids, we were on one income as most homeschoolers are, and I had to get really creative. We couldn't afford those fancy expensive curriculums. So I used a lot of Amazon books for writing and math. Um, we did a lot of libraries. You guys just use your libraries. They have so much information. A child can learn so much from books. And we did set a budget. Setting yourself a budget is vital. It's so easy to get caught up in the idea that the more money you spend, the smarter your kids are going to be. Not true. As a matter of fact, teach them to be a little more bootstrapping and they might be even smarter than you think. So check your budgets or set yourself one per year. Number one. Number two, use your libraries. Use the free resources that are around you, but not free apps. Those can be scary. And number three, Four, check out my homeschool village's roadmap. We actually give you inside there a roadmap that gives a list of the, com uh, the companies in each state that give money to homeschoolers. Yes, sometimes there are some trade-offs for that. Look into them. I'm not saying it's the ultimate idea, but I am saying it is a possible idea. So go get that roadmap and we'll give you a place to find people who help homeschoolers financially. So um, click the link below and let me know if you have more questions.